Hi, I'm Elizabeth Kropinski. I'm the chair of SIM, and I would like to take this opportunity to introduce something very new to SIM, something called the Knowledge Center. Uh, it's a new opportunity on our website. Uh, the URL is simcenter.org. And what it does is provide members, uh, the community at large, anyone interested in finding out more about imaging informatics and medicine, to go to a specific site that has and houses a lot of uh, new educational material. Um, there's the Need to Know series, which David is going to talk about in a few seconds. Um, there's also a forum there uh, where you can interact with authors, uh, with folks from SIM. We're moving the expert hotline over to that session. Uh, the uh, JDI blog is going to move to that section as well. There's also something called the Top 10, uh, and that's a really neat feature that we're going to update periodically with, for example, the Top 10 Innovations in uh, Imaging Informatics and Medicine for 2012, uh, the Top 10 Problems Encountered when Moving to an EMR and Trying to Integrate Images and so on. So it's a whole new opportunity for the community SIM members to interact with each other, uh, with the experts in SIM, and just to provide a general forum uh, where education can be found. A lot of the highlights from the annual meetings are going to be there as well, uh, videos from a variety of sessions, so if you're not able to attend the meeting, you can go uh, look at these videos and get the information that you need. Again, one of the highlights of uh, the SIM Knowledge Center is going to be the Need to Know series, and uh, David, if you would like to uh, tell folks a little bit about that. Okay, and uh, hello, uh, I'm David Brown, and I'm the uh, Solutions Principal for Medical Imaging Informatics at Kaiser Permanente. And uh, on the Need to Know series, there is a, a primer series that is available through, through the SIM website and also through the formerly known SCAR website that uh, was available. But uh, these primer series were books that were published in 2001, around that time frame, and so they're in need for an update. And the decision was not only to update them as far as their content, but to update the form factor, that is to go from the standard publication over to a more electronic format. And so the, the beginning of the Need to Know series is the uh, ar archiving primer series as well as the display primer series. Uh, I'm the editor for the archiving series, and Elizabeth is the editor for the display series. And the thought is, is that as the series evolves, more sections will be brought in, and also the content that is uh, basically published with this, this first uh, release of the Need to Know series will be updated over time so they will be maintained as a current and relevant uh, resource for, for the imaging informatics community. Uh, the primer series for the archiving uh, consists of, of different authors, and if you don't mind, I have a, a little bit of a cheat sheet here so that I can get the titles and the authors correct. And it starts out with uh, medical imaging and data characteristics that was uh, written by Dr. Tony Siebert and then went into cardiology storage needs to address cardiology uh, image characteristics and that was uh, author is Matthew Hayes. And then storage architectures and networks and another chapter in data storage management was written by Bob Glicksman. Storage cost justification is written by Mitchell Goldberg. Business Continuity and that Disaster Recovery was written by Skip Kennedy. Uh, I authored a section on satisfying medical imaging uh, regulations. And Databases for Medical Imaging Archives was written by Bill Gregg. And Future Storage Trends and Technologies were written by Dr. Stephen, Stephen Horry. And for the display uh, section, or the, the display series for uh, the Need to Know series, Elizabeth will, will cover Cover that. The display series is an update from the practical imaging series that we had out a number of years ago, like David said, and it really introduces a lot of new topics as well as goes over some of the basics. Uh, it starts out uh, with some, like I said, the core basics of what displays are available, what are their physical characteristics, a lot on image quality control, uh, there's a chapter on DICOM and uh, a lot of the core basics, as I said. There's a chapter on human factors and ergonomics, how to set up your reading room in terms of optimizing the display itself. We have a chapter on volumetric imaging, one on stereo imaging, and one on uh, sort of a neat topic, which is, you know, if you don't want to spend uh, $50,000 on your displays, what are the alternatives out there in terms of, one, just general commercial off-the-shelf displays, but also all the newer displays that are coming out, iPads, iPhones, and so on. 
Uh, we also have a look to the future as to what's potentially coming out there as well. And the series authors are myself, uh, Hans Rohrig, Mike Flynn, uh, David Getty, David Hershorn, Simone Perandini, Steve Horry, and uh, that, that's it. There's a lot of really excellent people uh, who have contributed to this series, a lot of the experts in the field. And one of the neat things about the NTK series is that it allows uh, people to download straight off the web and just read from there, but also download a PDF, and if you want to print it out, you can still do that. Uh, but then we also have a forum there where if you have a questions for one of these authors, uh, you can actually go into the forum section and uh, type in your question, and at uh, some point, uh, relatively quickly, hopefully, uh, the authors will get back to you with an answer. And uh, again, the goal, as David mentioned, is to keep these updated as much as we can, and we're also going to be adding additional chapters uh, over 2012 uh, to really fill out the series on this topic.